What's up, guys? How's it going? It's Ryan here. Happy Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. Um, just got back from the gym, um, but I have special news. Special news is I am picking up a brand new, well, to me, it's brand new, a printer, an Epson 7900. So the backstory on this one is um, a good friend of mine. She uh, works. She's a graphic design person, and she works at a um, an apparel company that does. Um, uh, apparel printing, screen printing for um, like resorts and things like that for like uh, gift shops. But their that was their printer. It was the Epson 7900. They were using that to print film. Um, it broke down on it, meaning that they're not sure what happened to it. Um, it sounds like a a, a um, just a head needs to be cleaning or some sort of maintenance. And since they didn't fix it, they bought a new um, printer, which is one of those those eye image so you put the screen on there it prints on the on the screen and you wash it off whatever but so it's been sitting there for I think almost a year now so they said they're just gonna throw it away so she called me up say hey we're throwing away our printer a large format printer the Epson 7900 if you want to come pick it up if not it's gonna be trashed um, so I said yeah I'm gonna pick it up she said they were they're gonna give me everything that that's that they have with it which it means um, inks and whatever else and also she's uh, gonna give me the um, what do you call this the, the rip software that they use I think it's called soft something soft rip and I just hope I can get it to work I mean worst case is I picked it up and I trash it because I couldn't get it to work and now I got the rip software so that's a killer deal for me yeah that's that's what's going on today uh, uh, hopefully I'll remember to bring the camera and uh, we can film it well I don't know if I can film inside the office but we'll see we'll find out but uh let's go let's go get it i'm actually gonna call a cousin of mine ryan my cousin ryan um he's gonna meet me there to help me load it into my dj van which i have to empty out a little bit just the back side of it so i can load it on there what's up guys um back home picking up the printer oh a little bit of dilemma i changed my shirt it got all dirty um Picked up the printer. Um, I didn't bring the camera with me in in the office because uh, you know I just I don't think I could do that. And I, I didn't want to make it, everybody feel uncomfortable. And um, fix this thing. It's cold today. A um, little bit of dilemma. The dilemma was we got everything loaded up in the van. Um, the issue was when literally when I was about to take off, the car wouldn't start. Well. It wouldn't turn over. It wanted to start, so I was going in and in and in and in. You know, the engine wanted to start. Just it just wasn't firing. <sighs> so messing around with it, tinkering around with it, um, couldn't get it to work. So it's only two things I can think of. One is the ignition, and one is the fuel pump. Um, yeah. So if you guys are following me on Instagram. Rye Beats on Instagram, R H Y B E A T S. Um, I had to get the car towed. Um, towing company said, well, first, the insurance was gonna, for some reason, I don't have um, roadside coverage, farmers on, on this. I have farmers insurance for this van, and they said I don't have road, roadside coverage, and it's gonna cost me 150 bucks. I said, uh, okay, hold on. So I called my other insurance, which is for my other vehicles, my personal vehicles. It says, oh, it's going to be 80 bucks. So I took the $80. Um, they said, of course, you know, I said, it's going to take 45 minutes for them to get here or to my location. So I waited 45 minutes, waited an hour, hour and a half. So whatever, I, I just waited. And then, uh, I don't know. That was it. And um, I, I was just so frustrated. I just didn't want to film or... Yeah, whatever. But the van is not um, operable. Now I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my gigs coming up. Uh, hopefully I can just bring them in anyway. But uh, the van is sitting right there, right outside. What I have to do, because it used to sit, it sits right here on this parking area, right, right here. Um, now what I have to do is I gotta move that car over there so my wife has room 
to park but I can't move this car because I haven't started yet so the battery is probably dead and um, one of the tires on the other side on the passenger rear is low I think I have some sort of small air leak or whatever but we're gonna go ahead and start it up jump start it with this and um, get my compressor and put air in it yeah a lot of stuff to do today um, I'm waiting for my cousin Ryan to come by and help me with the unloading of the uh, printer so they said it's it's just a uh, they're not sure what's wrong with it it's probably just a clog head or maybe something that I could just fix uh, worst case scenario I threw it out but what I got from it was they gave me the um, the rip software which is I forgot what it's called but I'll look it up and they gave me all the other stuff with it like extra inks and and uh, I don't know, I, they gave me like three boxes full of stuff for it I'm gonna take a look it's mostly inks probably but yeah I don't know it's just frustrating I needed this van to work this month well the next two months actually because uh, the gigs and stuff but anyways um, right now I'm gonna go move the vehicles around and um, wait for Ryan to come and help me unload that that printer you guys can see it firsthand That's the printer, all its glory. Um, I broke one of the uh, the tabs in the back that holds uh, this thing in. But man, so yeah, they still have um, some film in here and all, all the stuff that they gave me. They gave me a rip software which is in the house. Just checking it out. So I got some inks. They said uh, they were just using it with the solution, which is all the black Mac stuff. They're only using it for um, um, film positives. So yeah, I mean I know the quality of the film positive because actually my first job I had I paid them to to print the film positive for me. The transparency and it was great but now I have this unit to see if it works here's the rip software that they gave me that um, they gave me with it. it's the Wasatch uh, soft rip yeah. all the discs are in here and even the uh, USB key I think that's a key this thing. So I'll install that sometime in the next couple of days, or a week, or whatever. So right now let's um, fire it up and see how it looks. It's making noises, so that's good. <laughs> I download the driver. I went ahead and started the cleaning process just to get it cleaned. Um, hopefully that clears out some of the blockage, supposedly. And uh, we're going to do a test print. Alright, alright. So, finished cleaning, whatever it was doing. Now let's go ahead and print this job, which I need this week. I didn't even set it correctly, so I just want to see if it works. Oh snap, it's printing. It says it's printing. It's printing. 
Let's see. Let me see if I can Let's see what's going on. I can't even see it. So it's printing. Um, I can't really tell if it's actually um, printing the black. But it's really quiet. Here. Here's just a little bit of a squeak. Let's see. Alright, so here, here's the uh, print. It's not black. Uh, so, that just tells me that the black ink is clogged. Right? So let me know if, it, if I'm right. Let me know if I'm right. Let me know if I'm right. Okay? Um, yeah, let me know if I'm right. Because, uh, I mean, I can see the print, but it's just too... It just seems like the black wasn't printing. So, um, that just tells me that it's it's clogged somewhere. Or it needs to be cleaned out. But uh, let me know if I'm correct. And if you guys have any suggestions how to fix it or how to declog it. Let me know in the comments. And that should be it, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.